Hey everyone, Dr. Zach from Onward Charlotte here. And I had a couple interesting conversations with two runners this morning that made me wanna hop on and, and record a little video prior to going out for my afternoon run. We know that if you want to run faster, run further, etc., the best way to do that is to spend time on the road getting in more and more runs. But the problem we have so often with runners is we all know that if you're training and trying to push your performance running wise, you're gonna deal with an injury or two every year. And the worst thing you can do from a training standpoint is have an injury that keeps you off the road. So how do we go about preventing injuries? So often in the running community, we get kind of fixated on working on improving our flexibility. And while that can be important, um, one thing's really, really clear when we look at running related research, and that's that running gets significantly better from a performance standpoint and from an injury standpoint when we do strength training. And so a lot of runners understand that now, and they've started to incorporate some strength training. But the issue that I very commonly see is the, the exercises that they're doing aren't anywhere near hard enough to actually work on them becoming stronger. So for example, maybe you're doing a strength routine and it has you doing air squats or glute bridges. I want you next time you do those to see how many reps you can do before you feel like you're on a scale of zero to 10, you're like 10 out of 10 tired. So you feel like you can't do any more. And I bet most of you watching this could crank out 100 glute bridges or 100 air squats in a relatively short amount of time before you get tired. And, and simply put, that's just not a, a strong enough stimulus to help you get stronger or to improve your running form at all. And so if you're gonna spend your time strength training, you actually want to get some positive benefits out of that. So the way I always describe this is like, if you were trying to train for a marathon, would you only run two miles? No you'd build your volume up week by week until you can tolerate and you're ready and prepared to hit that full marathon. Two miles isn't enough to do that, but that's what so many runners strength training is like. It's way too low of a stimulus to get any performance gains. So I want you to really think about that when it comes to what you're doing from a strength training perspective. And what we typically tell people to do is on a scale of zero to 10, if zero is not hard at all, that's sitting on the couch, and 10 is I can't do anymore, I want you to be at a seven or eight out of 10 fatigue with most exercises that you do. So in general, I, I'd like you to work for 30 to 40 seconds, that should create seven to eight out of 10 fatigue. If it doesn't, we need to add resistance to it or, or make that movement a little bit more challenging somehow. Or if we're doing reps, I probably want somewhere between eight and 15 reps to be a seven or eight out of 10 fatiguing. If it's not, you've got to bump it up if you actually want to work on improving your performance. I hope that helps and gives you some ideas on what to do strength training wise to help boost up your performance. I'm off.